Is it is it going? Okay. When I met Laura, it was during our first year of studying. She was a, obviously coming from a classical background and took a great interest in jazz. And I am a jazz musician and I have great interest in classical music. I have a lot of interest in electronic music. When I bumped into her, we started chatting about this idea for the festival and I said, that look, that sounds like a festival that I really want to help make happen. Volunteer. We love the sound of the place, we love the look of the place. I mean, it's such a special location, you know, to be inside this gigantic bright red ship with, you know, the leopard print <laughs> floors and walls and all of that. I think it's kind of a great venue for, for this kind of weird post-genre mashup mix-up thing that we're trying to achieve here. Hey, you get it, Basel! How are you all doing? All right, all right. Yeah. What's up? My name is Rowler, Rowler Smith actually. I'm from Zurich, my mom's from Kenya, and I'm a rapper slash singer, but more of a rapper actually. So we never uh, really worked with vocal, just like uh, drum machines and synthesizers. And it was a really nice experience uh, to meet like our sound with rap. See, I don't know much about us. Feeling that I got ain't doing much. We've been fussing, fucking, fighting about some stuff. Cold places, stranger faces, I'm so damn raised, have me down in breath. Cold places, stranger faces, I'm so damn raised, have me down in breath. Agora Festival. This is our fifth concert and the last day of the festival. And it's so lovely to see so many wonderful people in the hall today. <laughs> and uh, tonight. It was really a scary decision in the first place because it was uh, pandemic time. There were so many musicians and so many um, creators longing for to be on stage again and show their work to the public. You try, it's the worst case scenario Different uh, genres, nationalities, personalities. How does it work where um, everybody can introduce their own um, character and personality and their vision on music, their love to music? These two traditions interacting was really nice. We spoke about different scales yeah. and different chords. I feel like when we arrived, we were already like, yeah, we kind of know what, what yeah. I used my historical instruments also, the Armenian flute, which is uh, from the apricot wood, the duduk. The first track, we just sat down in the studio and we made that first song yeah. in like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, now we had the synth. Now let's add drums. Now let's add side chain percussion. When the public hears electronics, suddenly they're like, oh, it 
It's modern, but actually it's very ancient. And we designed the electronics on um, like the harmonium, which is used in Indian classical music. I think I had the feeling in the past three days that I never felt and it's this like gratitude for like the whole planet. I don't know, it's like, it's crazy. Like everyone that was involved and just, I think it's, everything is so much bigger than me in this moment. So I feel, I don't know, I think overwhelmed is the right word. The genre is not really something that I'm interested in. I'm listening to so much different stuff and I like to play so much different music and inspired by so much different music from around the world. It's whatever resonates inside of you that makes it your own in a way. And sometimes you learn a lot about yourself when you know you listen to something and you suddenly you like something that you don't expect. Mm -hmm. 